Ghana has the highest number of women entrepreneurs on the continent, but yet the same group of businesses have had, you know, faced tremendous you know, structural rigidities and biases as they operate in the marketplace. So taking all of this, I want to um, now address the graduating entrepreneurs by, you know, let me say this, entrepreneurship is, is not for the faint hearted. Entrepreneurship is not for the sprinter and neither is it actually for the marathon runner. At Ashesi's Ghana Climate Innovation Center, we say that entrepreneurship can be likened to the athlete who's on a marathon that's a steeplechase. There'll be long jumps, high jumps, shot puts, a few javelin throws. You may even have to swim in the very deep end. So there'll be many, many, many obstacles, but there will also be even more successes. If you apply the lessons learned from the past couple of months, and also if you take in intentionally the advice that has been shared this morning by many of our August um, speakers. And I say that you know, the race is not to the swift, nor is it to the strong, but the race is always to the one that endures to the end. So really it's about ensuring that you're deliberate about what you do and that you can go the long haul with your business. Because to have made it to the short list of you know, the five people that you know, receive the seed funding, it means that you have something to offer, right? It means that you have goods and services that our world needs, that a particular sector needs, a particular region needs, or you know, perhaps even the whole of Ghana needs. And we, it is important for the society as well, for your business to succeed. And we want you to succeed. So what is that end that I refer to when I say, you know, the, the road is not to the swift or to the strong, but to the one that endures to the end. The end is that place where you've taken your business vision and your personal values. And through joy and pain, through sunshine and rain, you have delivered to the best extreme of your capabilities through that business. As Patrick alluded to, be intentional about your personal and business mission and growth. Deliver at the nexus of client needs, societal needs, your needs as a founder, and the needs of your team, team dynamics. Also leverage these for financial success. Leverage this also with value, values aligned third party suppliers and business partners. And please do all of this sustainably without damaging our planet. Thank you for your attention.